Good day. Welcome back to First Take exclusively on YouTube. Here with Stephen A. and Shannon Sharp. Fellas, let's dive in. Talk a little NBA, shall we? We are all anxiously awaiting to find out where Dame Lillard will be playing this season. Our Mark Spears has been told by two high-ranking NBA team executives that the Toronto Raptors enter this week as the front runners to trade for Dame. Stephen A., what do you think of that potential fit? I don't like it one bit, and I hope that this is completely and patently false because <laughs> that means absolutely nothing to what uh, Damian Lillard's long-term plans are. The reality is that he wants to be in a position where he can compete for a championship. If that, if Toronto is option, why not just stay the hell in Portland? I agree. No, waste, it's a waste <laughs> of time to even think about going to the Toronto Raptors. Damian Lillard should have Miami at the top of his list. Fine. But he should also have Philly on that list for the possibility to pair with Embiid, especially with Harden wanted out. He should have Boston on that list for the possibility of pairing with Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum mm -hmm. because they've got some other pieces they could give to Portland. Teams like that, me personally, I wish that Dame could be in L.A. He doesn't want that. But if he could be in L.A. with LeBron, and Anthony Davis, Tyler, Lord have mercy. I'm going to Jason I, 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 I would look at you and I'd go like this. You, you, your goal, because he ain't mine. He's he number go, two. Go. He that, stop it. Stop it. Go. But I would tell you this. LeBron James, about to, he might be about to win the fifth title. If Damian Lillard was there with him and Anthony oh, for Davis, sure. For sure. that closer that is Damian Lillard, I mean, talk to me about something like that. The Toronto Raptors? That makes no that sense. Is make, that makes no sense whatsoever. I didn't want to hear about the story after we talked about it. I didn't want to hear about it. <laughs> I agree with you because it doesn't make sense because you're going to have to either give up Siakam or Scotty Barnes. Why would Damon, Damon Lillard is not going to be able to compete for a title in Toronto, but the question, this is what I want to ask you, Steve. Yeah. Damon Lillard has been the guy for a decade plus. Right. He goes to Boston and they win the title. He ain't going to get credit. That's Jason Tatum's team. He goes to Philly, they win the title. That's Joel Embiid's team. You go, is he going to be okay with, with, with not being the Dame that we've grown to accustomed to seeing in Portland? I've known Dame for years. Dame ain't built like that. Dame don't care. Dame know. Dame is one of those guys who believes he is the man. Okay. It don't matter who he's with. Okay. Because he's going to get his buckets. Yeah. But he's also going to be the dude you go to to close. Think about it. As great as LeBron is, yeah. how much you want to make a bet that LeBron will be looking for Dame to close? Yeah. Because we've seen. That's how they won the title. He gave it to Kyrie to close. All right. Dame is a shot maker. He's a big time shot maker. And as long as Dame is in that kind of position, but he's still getting numbers, Dame ain't worried about what, that. What kind of numbers are we talking? 24, 25 again. Okay. So he, he, did, he, averaged, 30, he averaged 32 last no, year. No, that don't matter to him. Okay. That don't matter to him. Okay. He did it because he could. Right. He did it because he had to because the squad was relatively younger. But he ain't about that life. Because I've been wanting him to leave. And I knew sooner or later he was going to get tired of seeing all these other guys win rings. Yeah. And he's not getting the adulation that he deserves. He's a great player. But rings add a little something to But it's not about the him. adulation. He wants to be able to compete. He got all the endorsement yes. deals. I mean, when Aaron Goodwin does his agent, super agent, I mean, he's getting them endorsement deals out the wazoo. He's already made over $400 million in his career. Going to make more 400? over, over, over 400 million, bro. I mean, the brother getting paid. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is this: he's in a situation where he does not want to be on a team that has no chance to compete for a championship. What? That, that's why Stephen a. he ain't got nothing to do with this Toronto rumor. That, that's Portland. That's boy, that ain't yeah. him. Stephen A. He's been on a team for six years that couldn't compete for a title. That's right. I've been begging him, so have I. pleading with him Come to on, get man. out of Portland. He wanted to be, I think, didn't care if Kevin Garnett didn't teach anybody anything else. That's right. This loyal to the soil is foolish. Man, it's we were at the fight. <laughs> he was sitting two rows behind me. Spencer, Spencer uh, you know, uh, Errol Spence, Spence and Bud. versus Terrence Crawford, right? And Ryan Clark was a few feet to his left. He was right behind me. I was two rows in front of him. And Ryan Clark said, what are we going to do now? Because Ryan Clark was getting on me on first take. You're going to beg him to play? And I turned around, and in front of everyone, I sat up there and I put my hands in prayer in front of Damian Lillard. I said, please come to New York. Please come to New York Knicks, because I would love for him to be a New York yeah, Knicks. But... Okay? I'm not beyond begging, but it ain't going to work in New York. He ain't going to get there. I don't think so. No. But you got to go somewhere else. It can't be Toronto. Y'all not, not ready. New York can't give him what he wants. Y'all can't compete. Listen, first of all, I think we could compete. I mean, we got Damian Lillard. I mean, I think you could compete because you got to remember, again, Boston, they got Go to Milwaukee. Group. He want to compete, go to Milwaukee. Okay. It's that's, over. That's, that's another one. If it's went, over. If he were to land in Milwaukee. It's over. It's over. I agree with it's that. Over. I would pick Milwaukee to win the championship <laughs> yes. if Damian Lillard was in yes. Milwaukee. Yes. Yes, I would. 
I would agree with that. I agree with that. You learn in basketball, bro. Yes. You learn basketball, man. You know what I'm saying? I give it to you, man. I don't lose. Hey, what about Philly? That was well, another, I mentioned Philly. That was another yeah, team Philly. we heard. No, I Phil, I if he went to Philly, you think they could win it? Well, that it depends on the health of Embiid. I think with Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid, if Damian Lillard was there, absolutely. I just don't think Portland would ever make a deal you for Damian. Harden. Without, you got to move harder. Okay. I don't believe that Portland would ever make a deal that didn't include Maxi. They right. would insist on Maxi. Right. That would be the problem. But Dame with Maxi and MB, they could do it for you. Mm. They could do it for you. Well, I believe so too. Yeah, they could do sure. it. For you. But I like I like him going to Milwaukee better. Yeah. Can you imagine him Holiday? No, you got to give up. You, 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 you got you got to give up something. Okay, yeah, who you gonna give up? Who you gonna give? Up? You got to give up. If I'm Portland, I want a Holiday. Okay. Well, uh, even with even with Middleton, Middleton. Middleton's not the same. That knee, that knee. Only because of health. Middleton could ball. That's probably why Giannis want to get out of there, huh? Maybe, maybe because I got. Mm. But then again, listen, Adrian Griffin's there's the new coach now. Budenholzer is out, even though he did a hell of a job while he was there. And Budenholzer just needed a break. I think he'll be back. Dang, in the he the deserves it. But let me tell you this, man. I'm taking. Yeah, he should go to the Lakers. I, he should go to the Lakers. Somebody what we gonna give up though? Probably take. I'd, I'd, I'd gift wrap D'Angelo Russell. Um, I, I, I'd gift wrapped him. Uh, listen, I like Vanderbilt. I'd give him up too. Okay, if I had to give up a Hachimura, I don't want to because I like Hachimura. But I, yo, bro, yo, bro. I, I, Hold on, you I, I, might give, I might give up Austin Reeves. Hold on, I, I might give up Austin Reeves. Whoa, whoa, whoa! David not, not, not I might give up. I, I, I know he's a great white host. I know he's a great. I know he's a great white host. Right. But he ain't Dane. Oh. He ain't Dame now. You mean to tell me we can hold on? We could get a pack, we could get Dame Little for a package of D'Angelo. I, 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 I'm not saying you can't. Hell, I throw in Russell. This, especially, especially, I don't blame you. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be. I mean, that might, that might be more than D'Angelo Russell. But I'm just saying. I just think that they're not going to trade him within the division. Hey, it's guys, a tough spot. I yeah, love you. Glad you're having so much fun. You can continue this <laughs> conversation. <laughs> this will be the off YouTube segment. But party's over, fellas. Talk in the morning. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch First Take Monday through Friday, 10 a.m on ESPN and more exclusive debates right here on YouTube each day. Have a good one.